Welcome once again to Lato's Law. Here's Steve Lato. I mentioned recently that I went to South Carolina uh, a couple weeks ago. And while there, I rented a car. And one of the things I worried about that weekend was whether or not I was going to get dinged for the rental uh, by them saying that somehow I damaged it while I was in my possession. Now, the good news is I've never had that allegation raised, but it gets raised quite a lot. And I hear this story quite a bit where people say, brought my car back. Somebody signed off and gave me a thing saying, here you go, you're all set. They leave, and a little while later, they get told, oh, by the way, you dropped off the car with damage. And now that you're not there to look at the car, it kind of becomes hard to defend. So here's a story out of Florida from Local10.com, a place where my friend John used to work. Miami car rental company accused of charging customers for damage they didn't cause. And this is the fear. Florida State Attorney General's office is looking into complaints that a Miami-based car rental business is forcing people to pay for damages that they say they didn't cause. Local 10 News investigative reporter Jeff Weinzier looked into the claims as well. He asked one woman who says she's a victim of this, do you feel like you've been ripped off? Yes, absolutely. That's because the day after she returned her rental car to the place in Miami, she received a photograph of a damaged hood and her credit card was hit with a $2,000 administrative fee by the company. And that is what they're calling it, an administrative fee. So she asked for clarification, and they simply started ghosting her. Now, they didn't even send her a picture of the entire car, so she can't tell if it's the same car that she drove. She says that the rental company also went after her insurance company for the damage, because when you, of course, rent a car, they ask you, do you want to put your own insurance on it, or are you going to use the insurance you have in your regular car? Many insurance policies will pick up whatever you're driving in replacement of your car. Okay, and it's going to change from state to state, company to company, policy to policy. Uh, They apparently knew that she had insurance, so they went after her insurance. And she says then, a month later, they tried again to get another $2,000. And she says that she has proof from her insurance company uh, corresponding with them and denying their claim because they'd already charged me. So they hit her for two grand on her credit card and then her insurance company for two grand. And meanwhile, this is uh, kind of taking the fun out of a festival she attended (laughs) in the Keys. uh, And she says she found the company on Priceline. Priceline. So this particular company operates at a park and fly facility near the Miami International Airport property. Uh, The business is virtual. It's a virtual business. And that is because there's apparently nobody there. You check in and return the vehicle through a kiosk. And simply drop the keys in a drop box when you're done. Um, I went to Tulsa uh, a while back and, and spoke at a museum down there. And when I came back to return the car, the place was closed. And they had told me, they said, well, if you return the car before a certain time on, on certain days of the week, there's no one here. So they said there's certain spaces that we leave open, park in one of those spaces, and they put the keys in the drop box. And I had the same fear. Who is to say that after I leave, somebody doesn't come by and just key the car? I mean, it's beyond my control. So the woman here explains that there was nobody there when she checked in. So there's nobody there to look over the car and see if there's any damage. She's adamant the damage was not hers and said um, she would have obviously seen that if it had happened. But it turns out that the um, staff here apparently assesses the cars for damage and report it to the company when they're washing them. So apparently the cars do get washed and whoever washes them then reports the damage. So the hood, they said, is a $2,642 repair. But they said there's more because they wanted lost rental income for while the car was being fixed, it couldn't be rented. And another $700 for diminished value because the car is now worth less because it's got that damaged hood that you caused. So she said she was told by a credit card company that charges cannot be disputed here. Multiple people have said the same thing happened to them when you look at the reviews. And of course, there's one of the issues. She's looking at the reviews afterwards, not before. The internet is full of negative reviews that all paint a similar picture. People claiming they were hit with surprise charges for damages or fees. And the park and fly facility is full of cameras. So the woman asked to see the footage of her driving in to see if you can see the damage they're charging for. And they said they don't have to send the footage because it's private property. Now, the Florida Attorney General's office said they have received numerous complaints that they are reviewing, and the company agreed to an interview with Local 10 
though its owner was and has been unavailable for months. So a customer service rep spoke with a TV station. We are working hard to improve every part of our service. We try to explain everything to our customer. I know we have a lot of things to improve, as every company does. So the reporter asked the spokesperson about the apparent pattern of people complaining about being charged for damage that they did not cause. We recommend and we also advise our customers to record video and pictures before leaving the parking lot and after returning the vehicle. Uh, The administrative fee is an estimate of the damages. I would say 95% of our customers are happy customers, 95%. And by the way, it's a brilliant idea, though, is it's so easy nowadays for you to pull your phone out and walk around the car and just run a video around the outside uh, or snap pictures, whichever you want to do. But then you'll have some evidence of what it looked like when you picked it up. Drop it off to the exact same thing. Uh, Of course, they can still make these allegations, but then you have something to fight with. Asked if he feels his company offers a fair process to his customers. The spokesperson said, yes, because we have all the terms and conditions right before you hit reserve. In an interesting development, after the TV station questioned the company, the uh, woman in the story got a phone call. It's funny. They've been telling me no since May. I wasn't getting the refund. Then a manager called and said, yeah, we can go ahead and refund that. I was like, after all that? (laughs) I think they know they're under some heat now. So you need to be aware that uh, cheapest is not always the best. And again, I will come right out and admit this. This is an example of a story where somebody was never going to get any help at all until a TV station came in and shined that bright TV light on them and said, let's talk about your business practices. And so once in a while it works. And like I said, Local 10, I believe it's WPLG out of uh, Miami, Good friend of mine worked there for a while, and um, it's a great TV station. And uh, they got involved in the story. But this is one of those things. Like I said, I've rented cars on numerous occasions, and I've always been lucky in the sense that I've never had anything go wrong with a car I was renting. But I've known people who said, yeah, I rented a car, brought it back. Uh, Somebody came out and walked around it and signed something and handed it to me, and I ran and got on my flight. And then I was contacted. They said, oh, there was damage to your car that we didn't catch on check-in. And there's a question there, right? If they missed it on checking, isn't that on them? Because isn't that the job of the person who's walking around the car? Because I always assumed that when they walk around the car and they spot something, they can say, hey, what's that? And then you can have a discussion about it. But once you've left the state and gone back home, for them to contact you, oh, by the way, there's something wrong with the car that our check-in person missed, but we want you to pay for it now. And if you didn't know it was there, it's like, what? Is that really on me? So the attorney general of Florida is investigating this company. And, um, you know, I, I've mentioned before, I've, I've rented from a whole bunch of different companies. Now, I know a bunch of them have also merged. Um, and so I remember when I was going to South Carolina, I believe it's Dollar and Thrifty. Might be owned by the same company now. I could be wrong on the company names, but there's two companies that when I was pricing different rentals. I saw these two names popping up over and over again, and I picked one. And I forgot which one I picked, but I picked one. And uh, when I went to the counter, it was the same counter. And the woman actually said, "Uh, are you renting a dollar or a thrifty? Because it was the same same counter. And I believe that it's one company running under two names simultaneously. So that when you pull up five options, two of them are the same, you know. So there's all kinds of weird stuff going on in the car rental business. And like I said, I've been lucky. I've been lucky. I've never had anything major happen. I've had a a couple minor things that I took care of, but that's another story for another day. But as of right now, if you're shopping for car rentals at a place you're going to, uh, you might want to check the reviews of the off-brand companies, okay? So you've heard of the big ones. Uh, You've heard of Hertz. (laughs) But as you're checking the various brand names, you might want to check the reviews of the ones you've never heard of before, before you take a chance on renting with them. So this was sent to me by Dr. MS. Dr. MS, thank you very much. Local10.com reports, Miami car rental company accused of charging customers for damage they did not cause. At least they're not having people arrested. <laughs> Questions or comments, put them below. Otherwise, talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching Lato's Law.
It is not the position in which you stand, but the direction in which you look.